daycare workers are very underpaid good morning good morning good morning guys welcome back to another video it's your girl maya with maya's life tv and if you're new here make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel i know i might be a little bit shaky this morning but y'all we're getting to it today i have uh, a couple of things to do on the agenda today honesty and twilight is definitely going to the doctors this morning and after right after the doctor i'm gonna just pretty much head back to work and yeah that's pretty much it for today like as far as the main thing um other than that i still have to like make a few moves and like get some things that i need and so i'm gonna try to fit that all in till today maybe like on my lunch break i can kind of like do everything that i need to do but also i was thinking about not taking a lunch break so that i can like get ex the extra hour you know what i mean because i need that and also i'm going in late so yeah so um right now like i said we're on our way to the doctor's appointment it's not until nine but right now the time is 8 38 so um until before that i'm gonna just go ahead and like get some gas um i really want to try to get them a bite to eat because i feel that by the time they get to the daycare they're not gonna be able to have anything to eat so um i was thinking about doing that as well but um, for the most part, I'm going to stop by the gas station so I can put this gas in here. Because, y'all, we at 35 miles and we we need to get some gas before we clunk out. So, I'm about to get some gas and, and then we're going to just see where the rest of the day take us. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I'm happy that you guys are here with me. Um, a lot of the times, you know, I can't, everybody, everybody can testify to this that sometimes we get discouraged and, you know, sometimes we want to just give up and stuff like that. But you know what? God is a good God and he's on time God. And, you know, he'll give you the strength and the wisdom to be able to endure anything that you need to endure. All you got to do is ask. So, yeah, I, I, I really, I'm a, a firm believer in just asking for what you want and he'll give it to you he will give it to you he will improvise for you honey so yeah that's what's going on and i'm about to pretty much go in here and make sure that these kids is not going to um, be doing the most because you know how they can be hush twilo you know how they could be you know how these kids can be but we at the gas station right now and i'm gonna just waste a little bit of time to talk to y'all i have some things to do on my break um i have to go to the store i have to go to the store and guys i'm i'm basically i'm back fine but i had to order like another food stamp card because mine it was like scratched up on the bottom of it and i would always have to like type the numbers in so i ordered a new one while i was waiting and now the card is not here so it's like i have to wait for the card but either way there is definitely going to be a grocery haul shopping uh coming up soon i actually did write down my grocery list last night you know so i won't have to like worry about exactly what to get from the store when i go i did write that down so that's done and out of the way but um next is just to you know keep going y'all keep going y'all keep going that's what we're doing and we're striving and we're gonna have a good day right honesty okay we're gonna have a good day today at the daycare because they're not gonna they're not gonna worry me they're not gonna worry me y'all I, I really do go through i go through it i'm telling you dealing with other children and my own i go through it so also guys oh yeah i also have to go to the store because i wanted to get amaya it's like a bow for her hair because it's i want the bow to match the dress that i have for her for her graduation which is on tomorrow so i might show you guys a little bit of that as well but yes baby girl is graduating from kindergarten so um i think my mom is gonna come down so we can all witness that together y'all we're gonna have a good day um and yeah so I just wanted to fill y'all in on a little bit of what's going on. Like I said, I'm about to go in here and get this gas. And then I'm going to just head straight over to the place. It's 8.42. I would try to stop and get them something to eat, but I don't. I'm I just. Hungry. Okay, I know you're hungry. So I might just get them something at the store real quick. And then, you know, have them something to snack on before they go in there. So they won't be, you know, they just can't do it. You know how it is. You know, you know how it is. And you know how kids are. So anyways, yeah, y'all. So I'm going to hit y'all back up in a few. Alright, 
y'all so we are back here and y'all twilight in here just crying and sniffling and stuff and they didn't even do nothing to her boo go over there and sit down and honestly in here and honestly it's about to get a shot she needs to get her vaccine and she ain't scared but twilight here the one crying she ain't even getting nothing look at her face she is upset and i'm just like it's okay you're not even they're not even talking to you they're not even talking to you but she here crying but guys it's a, it's a pretty nice room mm -hmm. it's a pretty nice room it's pretty big in here but yeah i would just come out here we got to but i was just coming out here and let y'all know what was going on because the girl in here crying and ain't even nobody even saying nothing to her they check her weight and her blood pressure stop honestly and 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 that's it they didn't even check her um they didn't check nobody i mean she crying for no reason mm -hmm. she start crying out of nowhere as soon as we came back here like she about to get surgery or something mm -hmm. but either way um i just wanted to update y'all and let y'all know what was going on um, I'm about to pretty much after we get out of here after she get her shot we're gonna head back to the center and we're just gonna have a good rest of the day so yeah y'all stay tuned all right guys so just as I thought I took the girls back to daycare but the um, director there said basically that they didn't need me so I first of all I think okay they said they didn't need me but I think that they just also didn't really want me to bring my kids there I, I don't I, I, I don't know but I, I am here to tell you that uh, it's best for me to, uh, you know, go ahead and keep looking. Go ahead and send me, get my resume set up and all that. Because I even talked to the doctor and we was talking about like developmental and stuff like that. Learning and stuff like that for Twyla. Because it's like she's always attached to me. Like because I work with her at the daycare. Like I see her every day. I don't never have a break from her. So today was that final like today was a, a day where i can get a break from her but at one point it was about to be me not getting a break from her so i'm just saying all that to say that i'm off work i didn't i'm basically i'm not gonna be able to make those hours which is okay because there's other things i still have to do today and not to mention like i said tomorrow is um the graduation so i have to go get some things for the graduation and you know like i can do some things today but that still defeats defeats the purpose because i was going to do all of those things like either on my break or like when i got off of work or whatever but i can just basically head over there and go do it right now so that's what i'm doing uh, i'm kind of bummed out a little bit because i did wish i, I wish i could have went to work because like i said it's like not a lot of money anyways and it's like daycare workers are very under like you just expect to show up on time every day period you know do what you gotta do get to daycare and watch other people's kids i don't know i'm just feeling some type of way a little bit i don't know if y'all can tell or not but i am kind of feeling some type of way because it's just like dang well i'm not gonna be able to do that now i'm gonna just go over here go try to go to the store go get the little boat thing i'm supposed to get you know um and figure out something else to do to be able to make some more money at least i need to make 80 dollars today 80 dollars. i need to make 80 dollars. how i don't know so I'm just gonna have to figure that. I'm working on figuring that out. But if y'all stay tuned um, this far into this video, thank y'all so much for watching. I'm not really doing nothing but just being Maya. Um, I do my hair again. Don't look crazy, but it's all right. And um, until next time, y'all. I will see y'all in the next video. I holla.